Hello, it's January of 2024. I just got this today. It's a Cabela's commercial grade chamber vacuum sealer. Uh, I haven't seen any other YouTube videos on this, so I thought I'd put together a little demonstration of the unit. Um, I don't know who makes this, and it looks like Cabela's may have other versions of this in history, so I just wanted to put this one out there so people can see it um, it has a on the front here it has a vacuum chamber gauge and then it has a timer and these are two timers this is the vacuum timer and this is the heating element tire timer so you just adjust the time by putting that set button and you can move it up or down seems like most general applications 60 seconds is good if you press the set again although you can change this it's like three to nine seconds i believe it is uh, right now it's set on six six is the setting for like wet stuff um you got your your buttons here is vacuum and seal that'll start the vacuum go all through the 60 second countdown and then uh at like two seconds ago it starts the, the uh, sealing process and then when it's done it shuts off and the sealing process is complete um you can use that seal button uh, just for like making bags you like if you wanted to cut your own bags and seal them you can do that and then this uh, marinate is like a longer cycle that will is supposed to force the marinate into meat so you run that like three times and it vacuums it down and forces the juices into the meat there's a power switch on the back back here that you use to turn it on and off um, this lid is just manual you open it uh, right now i have some ground pork that was just in the freezer it wasn't vacuum packed I, I don't have a lot i can actually vacuum seal at the moment well you put your bag in there you kind of flatten it down you want to make sure it's it's flat on here and then you put this hold down bar holds the bag in place it helps to get all the as much of the air out of it as possible before you start uh, the unit does come with a uh, spare heating element and about 30 extra bags. These are the 11 by 13 bags. Uh, the times are in a chart that's in the book. You can see it says like basic is 60 seconds or 3 to 6 seconds. Uh, you know, it's based on temperature and size of the bag. So that's pretty much it. The only thing left to do is uh, just see how it works. So. You just push it down a little you let the lid go ahead and close by itself and then you just go ahead and press the vacuum and seal button and the process begins you can see the timer going while the uh, timer is going down it doesn't look remarkably different inside the chamber uh, the chamber is just drawing the vacuum down so it's removing all the air from the chamber and inside the bag Something interesting when you watch if you put water in it, it will like the water will start to boil because it's under vacuum. It's a great uh, science lesson. You see the gauge is just dropping down, it's putting the vacuum on it. You see, nothing really remarkable happens inside the chamber while this is going on. Ceiling cycle, and there it is, and there it goes, and the vacuum ceiling is complete. You can see the uh, unit does double seal the bag. There's a double seal there. If you can see that, um, with frozen stuff, it does seem like there's. A little air in there yet but that's just because it's frozen if this was like raw meat or something it would I'm sure it would take every last bit of air out over here I did earlier you can see I did a bag of water so you can like vacuum seal soups things like that but uh, 
uh, all in all, I'd say it, it works pretty good. It does say there's a duty cycle in it. You should wait about a minute in between uh, uses. So, all in all, I really like it. It works good. Uh, I think I paid $5.99 for this, and then uh, I got a variety of bags. So, compared to some of the other units that I saw, this is this is priced pretty good. So, uh, I would, uh, I, I highly recommend it. It's pretty nice. So, I wouldn't be afraid to buy this. Alright, thanks for watching.